Hello, my name is Ed Wonder. I show people the world through the lens of a cyclist. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe and join me. Let's go and see the Gambia. I have done quite a few numbers of cross country tours, but none was as humbling as this trip. I literally saw how every liquid evaporated through my pores as soon as they were ingested. I was forced to make several pit stops. More than 15 liters of water was consumed on this trip. The sun wasn't particularly merciful at 40 degrees Celsius. Finally, I arrived in Gambia in a town called Barawi aboard the ferry to Banjo. No land road links the two towns. The ferry ticket cost $50, including my bag. We arrived in Banjo after 30 minutes on the ferry. The Gambia is Africa's smallest non island country. Okay, hi, welcome. My name is Edward and this is Gambia. I'm going to show you around the street on my bicycle. Let's roll. It took only 20 minutes to ride down every street in Banjo. That's just how small the capital is. The Gambia is a country in West Africa, a former British colony, home to nine different tribes, all to whom live together harmoniously. English is official language. There are also several tribal languages, including Makenda and Wolof. Gambia is predominantly a Muslim country. I rode 15 minutes from Banjo to a village called Bakao where I lodged. Two minutes from my hotel is the beachfront which is part of 80 km coastline of Gambia. The following day, I visited the Kachikali Krokodai Pool and Museum in Bakao. We saw how the crocs were fed. I had the opportunity to take close shots and touch them. Thereafter, I rode to Gambia's largest city called Serekunda to do market research. <coughs> Serekunda is made up of nine villages, which have merged into Oban Spra with a population of 390,000. It's situated 13 kilometers to southwest of the capital, Banju. Serekunda is obviously not a holiday resort destination for tourists visiting the Gambia. Most tourists prefer to stay at the Atlantic Ocean Coastal Lodges. I visited the famous Abad Market in Banjo, where locals sell colorful textiles and local produce. Agriculture is their major source of income. They don't have a lot of manufacturing industries. Almost everything is imported except food. I see the Gambia as a virgin country for investors or entrepreneurs who are into production. There's little or no competition. The cost of living is low. The crime rate is even lower. And tourism is big in Gambia. Overall, I enjoyed my stay in the Gambia and wish to visit again soon. Bye for now. Let's go to Côte d'Ivoire.